How's it going everybody, Francesco Bologna here. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am the person that tried to help a lot of people with the Google Chrome problem with VoiceForge. But as you can see, now my video is actually redundant as we can actually take a look. This is the new VoiceForge. So as you can see, VoiceForge is now on your phone. I actually downloaded it myself. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I actually recorded some dialogue from my recent Axe Rangers S video. And I know a lot of people are not so happy about this VoiceForge change. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got a secret to share with you. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Capstroll has been hiding a very special secret. And this is what it is. If you go to the Kepstrol website, you go to kepstrol.com dash en or dash whatever language it is, whether it be English or Espanol, so either en or es, and then dash demos, and then you'll end up here. This is the official Kepstrol website demo, and here, if you actually look closely, you can actually see these are the official voices of the VoiceForge website. Now, as you can actually see, there aren't really a lot. In fact, there's actually half of the VoiceForge voices, but there are VoiceForge voices. So the good news is the VoiceForge voices are still available to use right here on this Kepstrol website of Kepstrol.com. Now, do keep in mind, this is not a replacement of VoiceForge. If you want VoiceForge, you're going to have to get it from your phone. This is rather an alternative for those who don't aff for those who cannot afford a phone and still want to use voices on their desktop this would be a good alternative another good alternative of voiceforge is vocodes now vocodes has a complete database of voices and we're talking famous characters from different tv shows famous celebrities we have spongebob sonic homer simpson just to name a few and this is a complete database of voices for TTS people to use. I would recommend 15AI, but right now 15AI is in uh, scripting stage, as the developer noted on Twitter. But these are basically the only alternatives to VoiceForge. So um, pick an alternative, see which one you like. And uh, if you don't like it, well, I mean, shit happens, right? So uh, sorry if this wasn't an upbeat video, but I hope uh, to come up with a solution for you guys. But um, yeah, this is what happens when people move into a different direction. Well, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.